Hello to all of my crafty YouTube friends. This is Vistra and I am here to share my planner with you. I have agonized over what planner I would use, uh, whether I was going to use the binder, the traveler's notebook, or was I going to the Listrum and use the um, other one. But I decided to do my inserts and I've agonized over, also agonized over, the name of the book. Now, I did one before and I call it the Bricolage book and I think I'm going to continue with that name as the Bricolage book. In this book, you can do a lot of stuff. So it incorporates quite a bit. I did not decorate this part because it leaves me room to continue because it's a two month journal. It leaves me room to continue um, creating in here. On this side, I did a pocket to collect the bills, the paper bills that come in the mail, which I don't get a lot because a lot of time your bills are online and you could just pay those um, that way or through your online banking. And this is a budget book that I have and I'm going to show you this because it's a two month. I designed this little booklet um, for the two months. Here I have the bill description, due date, amount due, date paid, and amount paid. And over here you can put um, any notes, whether you want to jot down what account that you used, whether you returned the item and got your money back for it, you wrote it down and you returned it, or however you want to use this side, you can. It has a total at the bottom. If you paid extra, you can write that there, and then you can add it up right here. And then on the other page, I have um, four weeks, which if you have a fifth week, I'll just put in a journal card and fill it out to fit in to the fifth week. Since this household get paid by the week, I want to see a breakdown of weekly budgeting. And that's why I put the date, the income, and what was paid out. Whether I went to the grocery store, whatever. I want to see that by the week. Then on this side, I get a breakdown of the income that came in. Um, the date, if, if my husband calls and says, Hey, you know, what was such and such, such and such. And I can look and say, Well, um, your check was such and such amount or whatever. And... Then um, we have savings over here, um, a summary of the bills and expenses. Then um, you can write on this side goals or whatever there. So that I have two books there and for the two months that I'm thinking I'm going to use this book. Now I got the start date of January 1st, 2018 and the end date there because I'm not for sure whether or not this book is going to last me maybe two, it might last three. I'm hoping it goes the two, whole two months and the entire two months and then um, maybe it will venture off into the third month. Uh, by then I think I would have made another booklet. Now these papers that I've used in here are the mixed media paper that I purchased out of the book of Walmart like this and that book came from Walmart and I just got two pages out and uh, put them in this little booklet which can slide out and go with you if you want. And the way I journal, I found a journal card and I filled it out for the calendar and over here is where I'll do my journaling and see I'm already halfway, um, almost halfway through this month and I still have not completed the full page because I don't need to journal about every little thing. Um, I Things that I do every day, I don't really need to just put it in here. But um, like I had to pick up my daughter's glasses, they called said her glasses was ready so um, that yeah I need to remember that I need to go pick up her glasses or uh, my daughter she's in school and she needed her transcript sent to her so um, yeah I, I journaled that because uh, I didn't want to forget um, when the school opened up that I need to go back up there and get that transcript so um, 
other than that, um, like, uh, I'll just do my everyday journaling in this, this book. Over here, I have a pocket, and I was thinking that I would put receipts that I receive in there. I'm not for sure. I'm thinking when I get receipts, I'll probably just put them over there so I can keep up with my receipt because a lot of times they build up in the bottom of my purse. I don't, <laughs> I I have to go in there and clean out my purse and a lot of times the, the receipts are all jumbled up and crumbled up and sometimes they are faded. So I'm hoping that this kind of, um, if I can get in the habit of putting them in here, that will keep my purse a little bit neater. And that is the end of this book. Oh, I did want to show you this. Like, when I use these, I use the um, little memo pad. So, you know how you, you, I have so many of these memo pads, and I'm thinking that I'm going to use them in this book. And these are actually for sale in my shop. And I also have this washi tape here. It's for sale in my shop as well. So, maybe uh, if you would like, head over to my shop. I'll leave the link below for you to go there, and you can purchase these items. I think they come with, um, I believe they come in a set. So... I will be doing these type of journaling with mostly um, memo notepads and things. I won't just journal right on the paper. A lot of time I like to decorate and use stickers like I did the washi tape, which for, <laughs> this washi tape is actually for sale in my Etsy shop too. It's in a set of, I think you can get three I'm not for sure but it is for sale in my my Etsy shop as well but how cute is it for you like this little notepad booklet that I received I can just tear this out and and glue it in and then write whatever I want on here and if I mess up on here I won't I can just throw it, redo it and then I'll glue it on where I would like for it to go so I am planning on doing that type of creative journaling this year. Okay, now that is the end of my journaling, my planner. Flip through. I hope you enjoyed looking at this bricolage book. And by the way, I received this in a swap, um, Natalia. She sent me this little star, and I really think this little star was so cute that um, I wanted to use it in my journal book. I hope this um, inspire you to use what you already have to make a, a small journal. I'll just throw this in my purse, and when I get ready to um, archive it, I'll put it into my traveler's notebook. And that way, um, my traveler's notebook will hold six journal inserts. And so, it will last me through the year if I do two per um, book, per insert. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, give me a like. Um, leave a comment if you, if you have a comment as to any questions that you want to ask. Or if you just want to say hi. That's fine too. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed. Bye bye.